This is a graduate monkey numerical reasoning test video tutorial. In this episode, we'll show you how to calculate the difference between two figures, which in turn need to be calculated quickly. First, focus on the data table at the top. It features statistics about average family home prices in London. The data is broken down by several criteria. For example, the rows in the first column represent regions such as North, South, Central, etc. The subsequent four columns contain data regarding the average size of property, average price, price as a percentage of last year's price, and rental yield expressed as a percentage figure. The rental yield represents the ratio of rental income from property to the price of that property. Here is a question. What was the difference between the price per square foot of a family home in North London and the price of a family home in South London last year? In order to calculate this difference, first you need to understand what per square foot price means. Also, you will need to work out the last year's prices for the given two regions. Let's solve this problem now. Your task is to calculate the average per square foot price in two regions of London and then take their difference as the answer. The keywords in the question are per square foot and last year. To calculate per square foot values, you will just need to take prices of homes in North and South London and divide them by their respective average sizes. Then you will need to calculate the last year's prices. To do this, you need to take the per square foot prices and divide by the respective, respective figures in the fourth column, as these figures represent the ratio of today's prices to the last year's. For example, the prices for North, South and East London were higher last year. Here we calculate the North London home prices per square foot for the last year. So 263,000 pounds divided by, in the brackets, 500 times 0 0.955, which will equal to 550.8 or 80 pence. Then work out the South London home prices per square foot for the last year. 245,000 pounds divided in brackets 550 times 0 0.948 which would equal to 469.9 pounds. Finally, we just take the difference between the above two results and we're going to have 80 pounds 90 pence. This must be the correct answer. Here's a tip. Always pay attention to little details such as per square foot as a percentage of etc. because these words imply that you have to divide one figure by another. That's it for now. Comprehensive aptitude test tutorials only on graduatemonkey.com.